What is going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video. Now for this video, we're here with another Road to the Top episode. We're here with Road to the Top episode 9, right? It's either episode 8 or episode 9. I'm losing track because legit, my last four, my well, including this video, my last four videos have been Road to the Tops because like I said, you guys enjoy the Road to the Tops and um, EA has just been dropping a lot of good content. So for this episode, we're going to be completing the 81 overall rocket launch James Harden no money spent. Now, the new James Harden campaign came out Thursday. So I was grinding all throughout Thursday, all throughout Friday, and then now today, it's Saturday morning. I'm recording this video at 9.35 and we're gonna be completed, completing it. So it, it took me about two and a half days something like that to complete this james harden without spending money you guys can take a look at his stats 82 speed 80 agility 81 mid-range 79 three-pointer 80 inside paint shot 80 dunking 82 scoring with contact um 80 dribbling he has 88 contested shot which is really nice that's a really good stat right there now, also in this video, we're going to be doing some gameplay with him, and we're going to see how good he is. We're also going to compare him to this 80 overall Harden that we ended up getting for free. It looks like uh, the 81 Harden is definitely better, and it should be better since you had to really grind for that one. Um, also, let me see how much rep I have. How much rep do I have? So, what the? All right, let's go over to the store. All right, so we're sitting at 93,000 reps. So in order for us to complete the chapter one Harden right here, we have to have, we have to buy five of the showdown packs, which costs uh, 50,000 rep each. So that's going to be 250,000 rep that we're going to have to spend on that. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to complete this 83 Harden right here. No money spent. So after I complete the 81 Harden, I'm going to start focusing on grinding for the 80 overall Harden. And then we're going to um, we're going to get that. We're going to get this one here. Now, let's take a look at this Harden compared to uh, the 81 Harden. So it looks like the 81 Harden is better than this Harden right here. Um, the thing that's messed up is that the free Harden that we got from uh, the Chapter 2 campaign looks like it's better than this Harden. So this Harden that you have to grind a lot for is not better than a Harden that you get for free. I really think that's messed up. I feel that EA nerfed his stats way too much. They should have made him at least better than a Harden that you got for free. But um, let me know in the comment section down below if you are going to be going for this 83 Harden. I'm definitely going to be completing him over on my main account, but I want to I want to see if I can complete him without spending money as well. So if you guys are enjoying the back to back to back to back road to the top episodes, make sure to click that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. OK, now let's head over to campaigns and let's head over to uh, chapter two rocket launch. And all we got to do is beat this event three more times and then we will be able to complete this James Harden. So. Let's not choke here on camera like I usually do. The funny thing is that like when I do gameplay off camera, like I play really well, but then when I hop on camera, I always choke. It's ridiculous. So hopefully we can get some, get some uh, good gameplay out for this video of this Harden. So this event is very easy. Like you guys need to be grinding this out. These are elite players that you can get for free. So you always gotta take advantage of things like this. Uh, also, I'm trying to figure out how to sell elite players. I've been trying a bunch of different methods. So once I figure out a way to sell elite players, I will make a video and I will show you guys about it. So stay tuned for that. Look at that. First pack, we get the three collectibles that we need. Look at that. But yeah, out of this uh, rocket launch blitz, you're guaranteed one to three tokens. And that's like the second time I pulled three. I mostly pull one out of these, but look at that. Alrighty, let's go ahead and add these tokens to the set. And then we're going to go ahead and claim our free 81 overall James Harden. No money spent. Three, two, one. Bam! Let's go. So 
He's not an update team because, um, wait, why? What the? I don't know why it didn't say update team, but we're going to throw him into the lineup right there. We're still a 78 overall. Um, so we are getting a plus two shot block boost to the team. Um, what does this guy give? Plus two scoring with contact. I think I'm going to leave that one in instead because I'd rather have the scoring with contact. So here's what the current squad is looking like. 80 overall Westbrook, 81 overall James Harden, 80 LeBron, 80 Blake Griffin, and 80 overall Shaq. Um, let's go to view all items real quick. Wow. So I already had enough. <laughs> so all this stuff is going to be extra. Hopefully we can quick sell these. But yeah, we are currently sitting at 139,000 coins. I'm really not looking to buy anything else right now. I just want to stack my coins because we do got a lot of promos coming in the future. We got, you know, like the Balloween, we got Christmas promo, like we still got a whole lot of stuff coming, like Team of the Week and all that. So I want to make sure I have coins so that I could, um, you know, participate in the promos like that. Alrighty, um, and we have been stacking our NBA cash. We're sitting at 732 NBA cash all grinded for make sure you're doing your daily objectives every single day because you do get free cash that way um i'm not going to spend this cash until they drop a good pack in the store that's worth it none of these packs really is worth spending my hard-earned cash on so i'm not going to be doing that i really don't want to waste it okay i want to put i'm gonna spend it on something worthwhile Alrighty. um Let's go to my team take a look at this Harden his stats are the same but he gets an extra plus two scoring with contact the one thing I do not like about how they're setting this up is that we have a lot of James Harden cards like there's a lot of cards that we can't really do anything with like what am I going to do with this 80 overall James Harden now last season in season two they implemented uh training and you could have just throwing these guys in this in into the players for training but this season they removed training for most of the cards now i never really liked training because they made your cards not auctionable and all that but the thing about this season is that you're getting a lot of elite players for free but they're all not auctionable though like my whole starting lineup is not auctionable so once i get better cards in the future that are auctionable like that are better than the cards that i currently have like all of these cards that I currently have right now, like they're just going to be sitting on my bench and they're going to be useless. So hopefully EA brings in like an elite trade in or something like that. Um, during the all season movers promo, there was a set where you could trade in one elite player for uh, 10 of the off season movers gold players. So hopefully in future promos, they add something like that so that we can get rid of uh, our non auctionable elite so that they're not going to waste all right let's do some gameplay with this james harden to close off this episode and we are currently out of stamina <laughs> what the heck bro that's always nice can we watch some ads oh we don't have any ads what the heck bro what that sucks and I'm not gonna sit here and buy a stamina refill either. And I've already done my stamina boost event. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> what the heck? They do, they did drop uh, the elevate events. I'm not really focused on elevate right now since I already got my Russell Westbrook and Blake Griffin already up to elites. Their stats really aren't that great. As you guys can see, um, their stats really aren't that crazy. Like, this dude's an 80 overall, but, like, most of it, he only has one 80 overall stat. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Um, I have been currently grinding next gen. Um, let's do sets, NBA today. But, yeah, I have been grinding next gen. Let's throw this in here. Um, so, we currently have 7 out of 20 for Giannis right here. Um... But yeah, let's take a look at the set real quick though. So this th this gold, like you need the gold net rating and then the one next to it, you can put any gold token in. 
example. So if you go to clay, like I could take these out and then I could put them towards these other sets right here. Like this guy needs steel. So we're gonna throw all the steel tokens in here since that's his right there. So we're gonna throw all of those in there. And then for Giannis, he needs net ratings. So we're gonna throw all the net ratings in there. Yeah, so now it's now it's pretty balanced. We're we have about the same amount of tokens for each of the players. Let me know in the comment section um how close you are to completing these players. Me, we got seven elite tokens for each one. I messed up on Andre Drummond because I forgot to do his I forgot to do uh, a couple of his events, so I messed up with the Andre Drummond, but I am on track with Giannis and clay thompson tomorrow i will be able to get another elite token for each one of these guys let me know your progress down in the comment section below but um i will go ahead and review the james harden in a different video but basically the purpose of this road to the top episode is that we completed the james harden and we discussed a lot of different things that's what i like to do in these road to the top episodes these episodes these episodes are like pretty uncut we basically just talk about like what i'm trying to do with the team what i've been doing with the team and we do a couple of other different things like whether it's making an upgrade or grinding for a certain card like that's basically the purpose of the road to the top episodes there's no there's not really a clear objective in each video well there is but we do a lot of other different things like that's why the videos are extremely long like i would put completing this card in the title but then we do a lot of other things as well so um yeah this is my current squad let me know how your guys's teams are looking in the comment section down below if you guys enjoyed road to the top episode 8 episode 9 i don't know make sure to definitely click that like button and subscribe if you guys are new click that notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i do drop a video i also heard about some good news regarding league versus league um i heard that they're going to bring new league versus league achievements once the tip-off happens so that's something to get excited about that's something that we had in season one so hopefully um they bring something good for that and we got a lot of good stuff coming so keep on grinding stay hyped get lit because this game's about to get crazy so you yeah, have drop a like subscribe if you guys are new and y'all know the slogan screw the haters i'll see you guys later peace out